Hello friends, we have started with the discussion of abscisic acid phytohormone. In the last video, we already discussed about its introduction, then discovery of abscisic acid, its chemical nature, its structure. We also discussed about its distribution in plants and then physiological effects of abscisic acid. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about biosynthesis of abscisic acid. This biosynthesis of abscisic acid takes place in chloroplast followed by cytosol. So let us see its different steps one by one. First of all, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate combines with pyruvate and it is converted into isopentanyl diphosphate or in short IPP through MEP pathway that is 2-methyl erythritol 4-phosphate pathway. Then this IPP is converted into zeaxanthine. Zeaxanthine is then converted into anthraxanthine catalyzed by the enzyme ZEP that is zeaxanthine epoxidase. Anthraxanthine is then converted into all trans viola xanthine. This reaction is also catalyzed by the enzyme ZEP. Now this all trans viola xanthine is either converted into neoxanthine which is then converted into 9-cis neoxanthine or all trans viola xanthine is directly converted into 9 cis viola xanthine. Then 9 dash cis neoxanthine or 9 cis viola xanthine is converted into xanthosin, which is 15 carbon compound. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme NCED. This NCED enzyme is 9-cis epoxy carotenoid dioxygenase. This is most important enzyme or it is also known as the key enzyme. Xanthosin which is produced in chloroplasts then enters into cytosol. Xanthosin is then converted into abscisic acid aldehyde. Catalyzed by the enzyme short chain dehydrogenase reductase or in short SDR. Abscisic acid aldehyde is then oxidized to abscisic acid. Catalyzed by the enzyme abscisic acid aldehyde oxidase or in short AAO. In this way, abscisic acid is synthesized in plants. Some points to remember in biosynthesis of abscisic acid. First of all, abscisic acid biosynthesis is one of the main factors that regulate its concentration in the tissue. It is synthesized in nearly all plant tissues, example roots, flowers, leaves and stems. Cellular synthesis of abscisic acid occurs in the chloroplast and partly in the cytoplasm. So earlier we have seen that most of the steps of Abscisic acid biosynthesis takes place in chloroplast, which is then followed by cytoplasm. It occurs via terpenoid pathway starting from isopentanyl diphosphate. So the pathway through which abscisic acid biosynthesis takes place is actually terpenoid pathway. And it starts with IPP, isopentanyl diphosphate, which is the precursor of this pathway. Abscisic acid biosynthesis pathway comprise three stages. First, early reactions in which small phosphorylated intermediates are assembled as precursor that is IPP or isopentanyl diphosphate. This is the early reaction in which glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate combines with pyruvate and it is converted into isopentanyl diphosphate or in short IPP through MEP pathway and this is the precursor of abscisic acid biosynthesis pathway. Second is intermediate reactions which begin with the formation of uncyclized carbon 40 carotenoid phytotene that is zeaxanthine and end with the cleavage of 9-cis neoxanthine to form xanthosin that is 15 carbon compound. Now this is the intermediate reaction 
or the intermediate phase in which zeaxanthin is produced which is 40 carbon compound and through various steps 9 dash cis neoxanthin or 9 cis viola xanthin is produced which is then cleaved to xanthosin which is 15 carbon compound and this is catalyzed by the enzyme NCED. Third is final phase in which xanthosin moves to cytosol and is finally converted into abscisic acid via abscisic acid aldehyde as an intermediate. So in the final phase xanthosin that is produced in the chloroplast it moves to cytosol and then it is converted into abscisic acid which is 15 carbon compound via the abscisic acid aldehyde as an intermediate. So in this way abscisic acid is synthesized in plants. Reaction that is catalyzed by NCED is a rate limiting step. It leads to formation of carbon 15 compound xanthosin and a carbon 25 metabolite. So this step in which 9-cis neoxanthin or 9-cis viola xanthin is cleaved to xanthosin that is 15 carbon compound and a 25 carbon compound metabolite which is catalyzed by the enzyme NCED that is 9-cis epoxy carotenoid dioxygenase is a rate limiting step in the biosynthesis of abscisic acid. This is all for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about abscisic acid signaling pathway. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.